You're watching Drive Car of the Year powered by BP and now we move on to one of Australia's favourite segments and one that's had a real resurgence of late, small cars. And there's three of the real classic choices here and in fact, this segment's probably better than it's ever been. We've got the Mazda 3, we've got the Volkswagen Golf and the Toyota Corolla. I don't envy the judges on this one. In third place, it's the Volkswagen Golf. It's been the standard setter in this segment for so long and it's still a really, really good vehicle. And in many ways, if you want the most premium entrant in this segment, the Golf's the one you get. The Corolla Hybrid comes in in second place and it's still a very, very high quality entrant in this segment. Can't quite pip our first place getter though. And the winner is the 2019 Mazda 3. It's the best small car in the segment, despite the fact it's got more competition now than ever before. So the small car class, gee, this is a tough one. I know I've said it on a few of these videos about a few of these categories, but the small car class has had a resurgence in Australia lately, and it's just getting tougher and tougher. New Toyota Corolla is undoubtedly better than it's ever been. There's a whole range of reasons that thing is excellent. Volkswagen Golf in many ways continues to set the standard for the segment, and yet this new Mazda 3 has just moved the game forward a little bit further again with a whole bunch of different things it does really well. There's quality, refinement, um, the infotainment system's really good. I don't like the fact that there's no touch screen, but the judges have seen past that and said that everything else about it is pretty easy to use. We're driving the sedan at the moment, and this might be the first time in a long time that we would say the sedan variant of a model looks better than the hatch. I think it does. I think the sedan is a really good looking car, and it's just a really, really good thing to drive. I think Mazda has sold itself in Australia certainly for the last five years, if not the last 10, on this feeling of premium without the premium price. And look, I don't know that that's true. I don't know that this cabin is necessarily any more premium than a Corolla cabin. It's not more premium than a Golf cabin, but it all comes together really well to deliver what is a really solid small car that you could live with every day, use every day, and be really happy that you own. It's not perfect, no car is, but it delivers something to the driver and to the owner that we'd expect all small cars to be able to do, especially at this price point, because the Mazda 3 is not as sharply priced as it used to be, despite the fact that you do get a lot of technology. So it may be out of reach for some buyers, but for the buyers that are in the market for this sort of car, in this segment, with this kind of budget, it really doesn't get any better than the Mazda 3. Mazda's been really ambitious with the new 3. It's more upmarket and far more stylish than the car it replaces, but all the gambles they've taken have paid off. It's really nice to drive with a much nicer interior than the cars it replaces. And all that nice stuff is still backed by a five-year warranty and the sort of servicing you'd expect from a mainstream brand. Because Mazda doesn't have a premium luxury sister brand to protect, it can really run the gauntlet when it comes to style and presentation. And that's a big reason why Mazda 3 is our small car winner of this year. I've always been a really big fan of the Mazda 3 and this latest generation just takes it up to another level. You've got that really beautiful design on the outside, you've got all the driver safety aids you could want across the range and the interior is just plush as you know what. Well this was a tough one for the judges and in many ways these three slightly different vehicles do the same thing differently but they all do it quite well and while the Volkswagen Golf in some ways remains the standout in the segment and of course the Corolla Hybrid specifically is a really really good option in the small car segment however the judges have decided that the winner for the small car for drive car of the year this year is the Mazda 3 and there's a whole bunch of reasons for that it's a beautiful all-rounder we've got the sedan here of course you can also get a hatch and it really does everything that you need from a small car particularly well go to drive.com.au for more details